Now this is content. They're going to use my connection to Bastila to get me to talk because they wrongly believe that I'm the one who knows what's going on <laughs> with stuff. Also, I don't know what the Sith are actually trying to find out, which makes this pretty awkward. Was that even mentioned in the plot? What are the Sith have already won in the plot and we're trying to stop them? I thought they were just trying to stop us from stopping them. But apparently there's some secret we have to tell them. I wonder what it is. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, they're going to torture Bastila. We can say, oh, well, I don't like her as a torture, but, but even if that was played as a bluff, like, could Bastila realize it's a bluff? Like, our, our goddamn relationship drama is actually going to, like, destroy the fate of the galaxy here, because I could bluff and say, well, I don't like her anyway, torture her. And, but Bastila would be like, oh, he, he doesn't like me. <laughs> she might not realize that I would say that even if I did like her in order to protect the secret. <laughs> But wait a minute, the secret's already protected, because I actually don't even know what the secret is. How are you going to stop Lord Malek? Like, I have no fucking idea how we're going to stop Lord Malek. That hasn't even come up yet. We haven't even finished finding out the map to where he is, let alone what we do with the map. But I, I can lie, saying I've sent to assassinate Lord Malak. What? Oh, th this is the true answer. The true answer doesn't even answer the question. So yes, indeed, we don't have a plan to stop Lord Malak. We were just looking for the Star Forge. Uh, let's just say I said to assassinate Lord Malak. Failure. <laughs> even though I put all of my points into persuade on every level up, we don't have enough persuade to do this. How's it going, Bastila? Why is Bastila half naked, by the way, or ninety percent naked? They gave the everyone else got clothes. The Sith don't have gender equality in their low-resolution confinement chambers. I'm staging a protest. I won't tell you anything until you let me take my clothes off. <laughs> it is in the name of equality, I tell you. Oh wait, no, make class do it first. I want to check something. <laughs> anyway, what were you saying? On what mission did the Jedi Council send you? They sent me to try not to turn to the dark side too fucking hard, and I failed. Okay. Uh, should I just tell them the surgery for the Star Forge? Because don't they know that? Surely that's obvious. Because we've, like, if they've been tracking us at all, they will have seen we've gone through all the pieces of the Star Map, the map to the Star Forge. So surely they know this already. So let's just Why? comply. Why are you telling him this? Bastila! They know we're fucking ready. They know we're looking for the Star Forge. How do you think they found us en route to the last piece of the map to the Star Forge? Was that just some random coincidence? And every time we go to a planet with a Star Forge on it, we get accosted by Dark Jedi? Bastila really wants me not to tell them anything, so I'm just gonna say I'll say nothing. Execute Bastila if you want. I don't even like her anyway. Hey Bastila, Bastila, wink wink. She can't see I'm winking. The resolution's too low, it just looks like a pixel. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. Okay, Bastila has forgotten. Bastila forgot that I actually did tell them what our plan was. This is good. This is good. Ooh. Maybe this was Chuck Buck's plan all along. He was going to both side with the Sith by telling them the secrets and then hope that the torture they gave to Bastila was so strong that she forgot that Chuck Buck betrayed them, so I can still get with her. I think somehow we've navigated this difficult, awkward relationship slash political interrogation scenario to the perfect conclusion. So Bastila was thinking maybe we should just tell them. Uh, you, you see, <laughs> the reason I stayed silent was to watch you suffer, darling. We can't say that. We have to kiss Bastila. <laughs> Yes, it's happening. It's happening. Jolie. Well, they, they let Jolie be naked. They just don't want Chuck Ogarth to be naked. Ooh, we get to play as Jolie. Ha ha ha. His head doesn't completely match his body. It's pretty good. So Jolie convinced the guard to swap places with him in the cell. We'll take our level up if you don't mind. Do I still have my inventory? No. <laughs> okay. I thought that could be good. Right, let's try and punch our way. Whoa! Jolie boy! Jolie, Jolie, Angelina, please, please. Maybe you can't destroy this. These people don't seem to be fussed about the fact I'm clearly breaking out. They're like, I'm not even looking at this. Oh shit! No! Fucking hell! Okay, there's a guard. Riot equipment. The riot equipment will save. I've already got a sword and a baton. Okay, okay. Looks like we're basically starting the game again at this point. Oh shit! <laughs> I guess you didn't have to open that door, so that was a bad idea. You're free to go. Oh, oh god. 
Uh, <laughs> okay, they actually want to fight. Well, that was slightly unexpected. All right, Jolie. Time to use your old man powers. The adhesive grenade. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's disgusting, Jolie. What have you done? To see they make even their technicians wear their battle armor. <laughs> I mean, it's safe designing another uniform. You know, you never know what a naked old man might run around with a sword cutting everyone up in the middle of the night. That's just what happens on a starship. <laughs> Space is a crazy place, right? At some point, <laughs> at some point along the way, I seem to have gained 99 computer spikes. Wow, okay, I guess I've been picking them up and never using them. Right, let's do everything. We'll open the detention area. Yep, do that. We'll have an area schematic, if you don't mind. And overload the terminal. Does that mean it explodes? Get away! Oh, right! <laughs> what the fuck again is the point of that? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Why is that an option? <laughs> Jolie's curiosity got the better of him. I just wanted to see what would happen if I pressed the big red button that said do not press. God damn it. Okay, open the door. <clears throat> I'll take the map and then go out. Log out. Log out, Jolie. Oh, we did it. <laughs> we logged out without dying. Another successful use of Windows Vista. So I've got this map. Yeah, I've got the map. Where are we supposed to be going? That? Is that where, is that where the Buckster is? We've unlocked the thing. The doors and the lower resolution chamber is gone. Oh, <laughs> we just ran into some other room. We made it out, boys. Now, if we wait in this cell, <laughs> they won't suspect a thing. Now, there we go. We got our clothes back. Oh, well, they got their clothes back. What the fuck am I wearing? I'm still wearing the weird 144p outfit. Like, what is this? What is this on the legs? I don't get it. What does the game think I'm wearing? Nothing. This is what Chuck looks like naked. <laughs> oh, really? Yep, <laughs> I got tattoos that look exactly like a whole bunch of clothes. <laughs> Just in case I won't rip my clothes off. No one embarrasses Chuck Buck. <laughs> okay, that's that's good foresight, Chuck. <laughs> Whoa, a locker full of money. What sort of prison is this? <laughs> oh, look at this, a locker. Oh, with all of our stuff in it. All of it. Well, I, I thought we got it back. They got their clothes on, but we actually left our inventory behind. That was a little bit of a trap. I, I could have easily walked away, assuming I'd already been given my inventory back. Right, what are we doing? It's been like over a month since the last shot. <laughs> and I've forgotten what's going on and I'm dying in real life. Oh, uh, we have to... Uh, we have to go upstairs to fuck Karth's dad or something. What was it, Karth? Was it that? You're not, you're not saying no. It, that's not all we're really doing, is it? <laughs> well, uh, we're trying to escape the ship. We've saved Bastard and Carl. That'll fucking do. We'll leave the rest. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. According to the radio just now, Candorus is actually already in the Ebon Hawk. The rest of the party has gone and bloody stolen it, <laughs> and they're waiting for us awkwardly. <laughs> I hope no one finds out they've done this. Right, we just we'll, we'll be there in a second. I guess that's what the hangar does. We're just gonna pop up to the bridge because I do want to see what happens <laughs> if we go and challenge Carl's dad to a duel or what have you. How do I open the right? Sorry, <laughs> keep forgetting the goddamn controls. It it's W to walk forwards. I got this. One foot in front of the other. But, but which one goes first? Look at that guy over there. <laughs> Something was happening in this corridor before I arrived. He was like, darling, embrace me. Oh, I'm coming, darling, very slowly. Uh, anyway, enough shipping the guards. Time to kill the guards. Oh, I'm down to one gun? Oh, let's do it with one gun, then. Let's prove we don't even care. Ow! Why is everything exploding? What's exploding here? What's ex- What's exploding here? What? What the fuck is exploding here? Oh, he's throwing grenades. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so confused. It's early in the morning. Oh, there's fuck tons of them. Those two guys over there haven't noticed me. Maybe we can sneak up on them. <laughs> they also haven't noticed the alarm going off in the background and all those explosions around the corner. Hello, what's that alarm called? <laughs> Isn't that just a naked old man running about in the lower decks with a samurai sword? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Are we supposed to deal with that? <laughs> no, there's a team for that. <laughs> there's Task Force Naked Old Man Samurai Sword Alpha One. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> Anyway, let's just kill them, shall we? Let's just kill them. We're supposed to be trying to get this over and bloody done with. They still haven't seen me. Shoot them, please. 
Oh, they've got the bouncy, bouncy boy outfit, haven't they? You hear that, boys? It's the everything's okay alarm. Quickly, stand stock still. <laughs> Better stand next to the beds. We might need to go to sleep at a moment's notice. I'm an official member of the Sith. How the fuck did I get in? <laughs> Anyway, look, Sith Troopers. Now we know that somewhere there's a goddamn room full of Sith. I don't get it. I don't get it. They, they, they've got a security system. They've got the cameras. They've got the alarm. But literally no one gives a fuck. Like, they actually know we're escaping. This isn't happening in secret. They definitely know we're escaping. They just don't care. They, they just don't care. They don't get out of bed for this sort of shit. This happens every day! It's so easy to escape that people are constantly escaping and they've given up on bothering to stop. Bam! From escaping! Just like I gave up on finishing that sentence. Oh, this is probably the room that's full of them. Oh, go on then, go on then. Chuck, Chuck, justify me picking scoundrel. You didn't fucking now open the door! This is the only good thing you're supposed to be able to fucking do, you scoundrel ass piece of shit! Right, Bastila. We're gonna phantom menace this shit. We're coming in! Guys, we need someone <laughs> to walk through the deadly frag mine because despite my training as a scoundrel at the Scoundrel Academy, I can't bloody work out how to turn it off. Is there a button or something? Is it, is it, it's more complicated than that. Oh, fucking shit. Okay. Okay, Bastila, please. Can you can you just walk in there? You know, you know what? <laughs> These alarms have got me thinking about something. You're uh, alarmingly beautiful. <laughs> you don't know what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, do you happen to be curious about Can anything? Just starting a very broad conversation to topic there. I've seen your tendency towards giving in to your darker emotions. Uh oh! You do as you please for the uh -oh. most part. Don't worry. She knows! This is a lead up to a lecture. She knows! I'm fascinated by your passion. Yes! Yes! She's fascinated by the passion of the dark side! Yes, Bastila! Yes! Don't I fear the consequences? Why would I fear the consequences? I am the consequences! Uh, anyway, uh, you should try it yourself sometime. Do you wanna? Do you wanna get in on the dark side? No? 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 Oh, sorry, my dad says I can't join the dark side. Oh, fuck your dad! Just like we're gonna do with Carl. Come on, join the dark side! Yes, she struggled for control over her passions. She's too quick to anger, quick to get involved. This is perfect! <laughs> I mean, a feel for you, darling. <laughs> How's that ancient Sith artifact you're wearing as button chops doing for you? So, yeah, she doesn't like the dark side, but she is going to the dark side. She's noticed that I'm on the dark side and thinks I'm pretty goddamn cool. I'm sort of a role model, if you will. Or should I say, a role model, if you will? <laughs> I've forgotten what Chuck Buck's voice was meant to be in the last month, so now it's this. <laughs> it sounds worse than it used to. <laughs> Hello, I'm the hero of the universe! <laughs> anyway! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I was about to skip over this, test, t this text. But let's go back over what she just said. She just said, the Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? <laughs> and Chuckbox's only, only possible response is, What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Bastila is trying to turn me to the dark side all of a sudden. How did this happen? Things have turned around very rapidly. Is it because I gave her the evil Sith mutton chops? Hey, no, Bastila, no, 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 no. I'm the dominant one in this relationship. I'm gonna turn you to the dark side now, Buckster. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> what have I done? If I may be so bold as to retort to your insane ramblings, lol what? These dangerous thoughts. Leave dangerous thoughts? Oh, oh, yes, yes, she's doing it. <laughs> she's darking it up. <laughs> Okay, Bastila. <laughs> Journal entry added. What did it say? Dear diary, tried to get my girlfriend into that kinky shit. <laughs> now she's got me locked up in the basement, hitting me across the face with a baseball bat, screaming, You like that, buckers? Uh, I suppose this is what I wanted. <laughs> End diary. <laughs> right, uh, anyway, because Bastila is now best girl, we'll get Karth to step on the deadly frag mine. It's not that fucking deadly, is it? What the? I picked up a spacesuit. I just picked up a spacesuit. I thought it was just like a lootable container. I've got a spacesuit. Is there some way to complete this by just like jumping out of the airlock? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I could leave everyone behind. 
<laughs> but Bastila? Bastila, there's room in this spacesuit for, for both of us. It's going to be an awful squeeze, Bucky boy. <laughs> Just the way I like it. Oh, fucking shit. Okay, uh, sorry I mentioned anything. You don't want to feel the squeeze, Buckers! Please, Bastila, please! Okay, I've gone too far. Can we put her back on the light side now? <laughs> Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>